Shalom, brothers and sisters. All honor and glory goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. And brothers and sisters, this is part four of the series of the Messiah in the Old Testament, where we are going over plenty of scriptures that prove that, yes, the Heavenly Father did set up His Son from on high, from above, to come through the lineage of King David to be king over all of Yahshua. And we are showing you where it says certain things such as right here where the Mosai says but they shall serve the they shall serve Yahweh their Elohim and David their king whom I will raise up unto them. We are showing right here that even though it says David their king, it is also making reference to his sons as well. For the Most High said, Ought you not to know that Yahweh of Yahshua gave the kingdom over of Yahshua, over Yahshua to David forever, even to him and to his sons? How nice of them to just leave this part out. You see how easy men can deceive and fool and trick and deceive you if you don't read here a little and there a little, line up on line, precept on precept, and put it all together. They will one line you to death, and I really mean one line you to the death. And that's what's happening these last days, brothers and sisters. The rock of our salvation is being torn away from many Hebrews through men that's standing up over the prophets of old today. That's right. There are actual Hebrews trashing the Most High's prophets he talked to personally to someone who just decided that they're going to teach the word on their own. According to their own self-righteousness, they decided they was going to stand up and start teaching the word, just like most of the Christians do today. So the same thing is taking place in our awakening, where you got so-called modern day men being prophets and elders and all type of things, and they're deceiving so many. You got kids standing up deceiving you on YouTube, standing up teaching, being teachers. That's not how the Most High work. He never changes. Just go back and see how he does it in the old days and you'll see it being done through the whole scriptures the same way. He never changes. And he, he picks and chooses whom he will raise up to come and teach this, brothers and sisters. Now, I have my fair mistakes and errors along the way while I'm growing in this work that the Father has me doing. And I made my mistakes. I thank you all for bearing with me and forgiving me, but... Brothers and sisters, this ministry that the most I have had me doing has been waxing better and better, not worse and worse. And the better I get, the closer I get, the more truth that be, that is put out, the less people tune in. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Because few is going to make it, not the many. But many eyes have been blinded by smooth words and by great uh, knowledge from the heathens texts textbooks and theories and other works that they done wrote is being is superseding the works of the most high and so you got hebrews standing up with their own minds and hearts teaching folly to you and taking you from the rock of our salvation the most high son to be our salvation see the most high has always used us He's always used his righteous and his holy to, to work through, to be his salvation on the earth. And he prepared one before to come through the lineage of King David, to be the king forever. He was the one chosen by the Most High, no one else. So you got modern day Hebrews convincing you over the prophets Daniel, over the prophets Jeremiah, over the prophet Esdras, over the prophet Isaiah, 
over the prophet even King David. The one that they want to make this the Hamashiach. They even prophesying over him. And they become greater in your eyes than these prophets of old days. And many men are falling for this. They are made masters of these men by listening to them. And they're trashing Hamashiach. They're trashing the testimonies of Hamashiach. They're trashing Paul and the testimonies he get. Yeah, this awakening has to happen this way to purge out the dross, to purge out the wicked, to purge out the fearful. Brothers and sisters, it has to happen this way. But you hold fast to your faith. You hold fast to the prophets in the old days that are our fathers. Honor your father and your mother. Go back into the days of our old aunt. I mean, don't worship them. Don't make an altar to them. Don't make a tabernacle to them. But you honor your father. Forefathers from Adam to Noah. Honor them. And hear what thus saith them. Thus saith Noah, thus saith Abraham, thus saith Isaac and Jacob, thus saith all the prophets, Moses, and thus saith Hamashiach, who was greater than just a prophet. You got Hebrews lining up with the Muslims. They are one accord with the Muslim people, saying Hamashiach is just a prophet, and y'all still want to follow them? You're modest for joy in Islam, in the Muslim movement. This is insane because you're listening to the heathens who twisted the word and even our old ancestors who twisted it. And now most are being taken. And before I go into the book of Psalms, we're going to be doing mostly Psalms today. Not, we're not going to cover everything. Of course we can't cover everything. There's just so much written about Hamashiach. And there's so many foreshadowing of good things to happen that he uh, would fulfill that happens in the Old Testament. Way before he came. That we can't cover it all. But we're going to cover a lot of it. And before I get into Psalms, I want to cover some more things concerning uh, the one that was to come. This is Second Esdras. I don't want to go here or over there. Okay, let, let's just start here. Then. So I asked the angel. This is Second Esdras chapter um, two, forty-four through forty-eight. So I asked the angel and said. What are these, my master? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. Now, y'all remember Paul talked about this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses, uh, it's around 50 and, between 50 and 54, where you put off the immortal and you, and you put on the, uh, the, uh, you put off the mortal and you put on the immortal body. Y'all wonder where he got it from. He got it from Esdras. People saying that Paul never quoted scripture. Paul steadily quoted scripture. And the wicked run and hide when you prove them wrong. This is where he got it from. And have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive psalms. And this is also written in Revelations. This matches what John saw and what he was talking about when they received psalms in their hands and they received crowns. This is this is Revelations. So you got a second wit witness. You got two witnesses to what Paul was talking about. Then said I unto the angel. What young man is is he that set the crowns upon them and giveth them psalms in their hands? So there was a man 
giving out crowns and psalms to these people. Who was it? Who was this person? Well, this is the one the Most High sent. This is the one the Most High gave dominion, glory, and the kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion should be the everlasting dominion. And so they're trying to say that this son of man is either Yashara or King David. When we got all this evidence that it's the Most High's son from above that come down in the flesh and walked in the flesh and lived in the flesh and did all these things wonderful glorious things to, pro to provide proof of all the prophecies that he fulfilled so the most high has chosen this one to do all, to be a king over the earth though he is the great king and he will always be the great king as I mentioned in the last part in part three, or in part three and a half, one of them, he will be our great king forever, but he has chosen multiple kings. He's chosen even the kings to be over the uh, heathens. He gave them their kingdoms, but he also gave us a kingdom, and he chose another king to give you over, Yasharal, through the King through King David's lineage. Now let's go back over here. And we're talking about this young man that handed out psalms and crowns, brothers and sisters. Which go right along with, well anyway, let's move on. So he answered and he said unto me, It is the son of Yah whom they have confessed in the world. This is an angel talking to Esdras. Who are these men hearing from? Where was their testimony that a holy angel stood before them and said, there is no son of Yah? Where is their testimony at? But you want to take a dunk on the head of Esdras and the Most High's Holy Angel. Therefore you're taking a dunk on the Most High and his prophecies. And you will not see the kingdom. Then began a great. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh. Because they believed and stood stiffly for the Son of Yah. Because this is the plan of salvation by the Father sent by his hand. So you're still underneath the hand of the Father, and he is your salvation always. But he's also your great king, though he appoints kings. Though he can have men be, be used as his hand of salvation like Moses, King David, and all the other great ones, and Esther, and uh, Judith. Though he can use others to be his hand of salvation, he can't use Hamashiach. Y'all get out of here. Y'all don't even know the Most High. And I'm talking to the ones that don't believe in Yahusha. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahweh, Elohim, thou hast seen. So you will hear all the truth. The rest of them won't. And I read somewhere that there was going to be a tenth saved of us. And I'm still working on that. Don't. Just take that with a grain of salt. I ain't even going to say that quote. Don't take that seriously. Let me say that. I'm still working that one out. And I know about the two-thirds thing, so you don't have to say nothing about that. But I found somewhere else where it says a tenth. And I'm looking at that one being more right. Because even Ezra said that the righteous are scarcely saved. So let's go over to get another witness to what we just read here in Isaiah chapter 9, brothers and sisters. But let me just go over this part right here. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them have the light shined. Now this pertaining to the Most High and His Son, who came walking with 
the great light in him, bearing the name of the Most High. Just as all of us share in all this, what Hamashiach shared in, so do we. We have a great light in us, shining through us, and we are the Word made flesh through him. And we walk out the same works, and we work out, we walk out the same persecution, because we stand strong for the promises, the covenants, and the Most High sent salvation from on high to be amongst us. Now let's go here. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Ah, Elohim, <laughs> the Everlasting Father. He bears the Father's name. And the remember when he said, "You seen the Father? You seen me?" We're like many me's, y'all. We're like we're in the image of the Father. We're like many me, many hymns. The Prince of Peace. You are also a prince of peace. You are also kings, queens. You are also priests. Remember he said he's making a nation of priests? You also must bear your kingship and your priesthood. For you are in him and of him and reborn through him. So you take on what he is. Remember, Adam was king. And he also bared the word, the Most High as well, to his children, king and priest. But Hashatan came along and did his work and became the prince of this world of naughtiness and wickedness, since wickedness into the world. And now Hamashiach must put that wickedness out and stomp it out. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David. Now, what they going to do about this? This one that came, born of the lineage of King David, given the government of Yasharal by the Most High, he's going to sit upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it. And to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this. The Most High is going to perform it through this one, his son, as promised. And he will fulfill all the chosen prophecies. So the wicked won't see this. The wicked wants to turn away and make um, these men, modern day men their deity. So now you can go back over here and when you read stuff like this here, you have fuller understanding. And David, their king, whom I will raise up unto them. You got to put all the prophecies of the house of David together as one, brothers and sisters. You got to put all this together. And I hope you all are writing, uh, writing this down, downloading this document which I put in the description box of this video series video and add all the scriptures to all these videos down here so this will be your foundation I mean I might do that anyway in the future go over the videos in my notes and write down all the scriptures that I posted but you can start doing that now and uh you have everything you need to prove the Messiah in the Old Testament. We didn't even cover the New Testament. I only mentioned a few things that was written in the New Testament. But I'm not going over um, the New Testament. We just stick it with the Old Testament and proving the Most High's will. Uh, let me see, where was we? Yeah, we was right here. But brothers and sisters, we are first to get into Psalms, the book of Psalms. So I just wanted to cover this portion to add more fuel, add more zeal, 
add more edification and knowledge to your notes and to your to your mind to hold fast and hold strong to what you got and don't listen to every spirit that come along try them test them pull out these notes and put them to the test and see how they run you'll see the word come to life and they will run they would avoid scriptures like these this son that's born unto us, unto Zion, to sit upon the throne of David. And upon his kingdom, he will order and establish it with judgment and justice henceforth and forever. That wasn't King David. It wasn't. Brothers and sisters. Even in Jeremiah 34, when you get to that, uh, where it talks about King David. Okay, brothers and sisters, it was actual Ezekiel 34. I was thinking about stone me. Okay, I found it. Here it is. So, when you see where it says things like this also, even my servant David, he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. And I, Yahweh, will be their Elohim, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. When you see stuff like this, you got to tie in all of this. And you have to think about how the Most High also used, also said, Yahshuaal, in a singular name, but he meant all the 12 tribes when he said it it's the same way with King David and the house of David the house of Yasharal it's the same way brothers and sisters it's the same way don't get it twisted don't let them twist your minds and hearts even where it says uh, Jacob Anywhere where it says Jacob, you know it's talking about not just a singular man, but it's also talking about the children of Jacob. Like right here. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant. Well, right here you can easily understand it's talking about more than one person wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. So you wouldn't leave out this portion that's talking about Jacob and his children and just go what with this, Jacob my servant, and leave everybody else out. You wouldn't go like that. That's what they're doing with, um, oh, and I turned the scriptures. Anyway, that's what they're doing in the, uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 as well where it says oh, my servant David or anywhere it says that you know it's not just talking about David that's how simple it is Brothers, and this simple thing is what they can't get and they can't see and they can't understand and they're leading many 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 folks astray and it is sad that it is happening, brothers and sisters, but it must happen. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this particular part four right here. And we're going to go into part four and a half. That's in Psalms that proves the Messiah uh, did exist and was to come, brothers and sisters. So thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for supporting this. And go to part four and a half.